find what you're already doing. You're doing, you're engaging your, your posterior chain muscles a lot more to load and put your foot back down. So as opposed to pushing your foot down and driving or clawing it through, it's really an eccentric load behind you and putting your foot back down and as you're moving forward, that's an efficient running position. And if you don't do that on a true form runner, you get exhausted. So this really teaches you to engage your posterior, to, to, to load with your posterior, and run in a relaxed, balanced position. Otherwise, it's not sustainable. If you're in a, a good, balanced position, your foot's landing underneath you, you know, you're, you're, you're in a controlled position like this. If you, if you run out in front of yourself, it, you know, it literally, this is exhausting. You're not, you're not going to do this for very long. You're covering the whole and if, thing. Yeah, and if you, or if it's really bad in your back seat, it just pushes you backwards. So back seat is like what we call sitting in the bucket, where their butt's back or they're, or they, they're sitting back. And then if you're a person who's always looking down and kind of just plodding along with this slow pace, you do that here, you can't, you can't keep up because it accelerates too quickly to maintain that. Rewards people and encourages people to have an upright body position, an engaged core, and their foot landing under their center of mass, loading with their posterior, and sending their leg back forward with a fast cadence. If you run like that on the true form runner, it is a much more efficient and easy position to be in in order to make the treadmill move. And to some extent, the further that you get from that running position and that form running, the, the more difficult or impossible it will be in order to make the, the belt move.